Right, hello guys, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, first of all, you are going to be seeing a 61 and 12 gameplay in the background with, an, with the MP40 here in Vanguard. And uh, if you enjoy Vanguard, then you might enjoy the gameplay in the background. If you're someone who doesn't like Vanguard, unfortunately, you're going to have to suffer through this gameplay whilst we talk about this discussion. So apologies for that, but let's get into it. So as you guys can tell by the title, by the thumbnail, we're going to be talking about what Raven recently tweeted about for in regards to war zones okay now as you guys know or have seen on the channel i haven't uploaded anything war zone in a very long time and i was planning to with the whole kadira update and the integration but it's been it's been very rough now i'm someone who plays on xbox series x so it's still it's still rough here on xbox series x still can't even play at 120 fps for some reason don't know why that hasn't been fixed you know there's meant to be a big update coming and all this stuff but what happened was during this time you know not a lot has happened with an update but they've come back from the holiday and they started tweeting again and the tweet they produced is one i'm very confused that i wanted to discuss i already made a community post about this if you want to guys want to go like you know leave comments on that or leave a comment down below on, the, on this video let me know what you think about what uh, raven tweeted about which is in regards to time to kill and how they are planning to improve the time to kill in the game like make it better in a sense which in in all honesty the change they are proposing here is terrible in so many ways so what is this change they're on about well from the thumbnail as you can see the tweet is they are planning to increase the time to kill which is great warzone absolutely and i think a lot of people agree needs a higher time to kill because the time to kill is so fast that you you just get you get shot from any angle you've got no chance of reacting you are dead in a matter of seconds like you have no time to react whatsoever you're lucky in most situations if someone is shooting you that you're able to get to cover and possibly, you know, re-engage in that gunfight. So a time to kill increase is fantastic. Great idea. It's the right way to go. At least they understand that that is something that needs to happen. However, how they're going about it is one of the worst ways possible, in my opinion, and will, in my opinion, make Warzone worse. You know, I, I would say make it terrible for the, like, for the first time, but, you know, Warzone's in a bad state as is. This would greatly make Warzone even worse than it already is because they are proposing a change to the ADS speeds of weapons across the board you know to increase the amount of time it takes to ADS and they're telling us how we should see time to kill they've actually said that we should factor in the ADS times when we're talking about the overall time to kill which is a weird one is a weird way to go about it telling us how we should perceive time to kill when ultimately everyone probably agrees time to kill is perceived as you know the amount of time it takes a gun to kill we don't we don't talk about the ads times too much you know we factor them they are definitely a factor but they are not the be all and end all the be all and end all of a gunfight most of the time is the damage you know being output by the weapon you are using and the amount of time it takes you know based off a of fire rate etc and the amount of health that player has is is how a, a, a you know a the time to kill is determined so they're proposing ads times changes which is to slow down the ads times and this is where they're trying to like put the wall over people's eyes. Now I can see this a mile off and I hope other people can see this, but I'll explain it for you why, why I'm seeing it in a different way. What this means realistically, instead of doing the obvious thing, which I think is what should happen, and let me know in the comment section down below whether you agree or not, they should just increase the, 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 the health, okay? The health should be doubled. They did this Iron Trials playlist. People liked it. I didn't see anyone complain about, you know, maybe there were a few complaints, but I didn't see them. But everyone liked the change. They loved the double health. They felt it took more skill because it does take more skill, you know, having to be accurate for longer and being able to re-challenge gunfights. It's a lot more skillful. But for whatever reason, they don't see it this way. It wasn't a, just a clear-cut change of just doubling the health or making the health 75% more or even 50% more. Just doing something to the health to make it greatly increase the time to kill, to make it more skillful. And to you know it's, it's a lot easier option instead they want to go through the option of changing every single individual weapon in the game now this is warzone by the way we're talking about not just we're not talking about vanguard we're talking about everything in warzone you think of how many weapons are in warzone right now they would have to go through and change every single one of those weapons base time to like the base ads times just to be able to change the time to kill when they could quite easily just change the base health to being greater than what it currently is which this is where i don't understand they're causing themselves more work just to do one thing and i'm gonna put put it out there it is to just do one thing and it's to increase like decrease the skill gap and the reason this would decrease the skill gap think of when you're playing warzone right and the time to kill is already pretty quick but if you're having to aim down sight slower who does that benefit the most 
when it comes to playing Warzone, with how Warzone is played. It's the people who sit in corners. It's the people who sit in, you know, on rooftops and look down at you. You're going to have no time to react. You're going to have less of a time to react. So that you may be able to react quite quickly, but because your weapon isn't being able to aim down sight as quickly as, you know, someone who's already aimed down, aimed down their sight, this massively benefits the campers of Warzone, the people who sit in the corners, the dark bushes, the, tr you know, next to trees, laying on the ground. They're the people already ADS'd. They're the people who would massively benefit from this change. And it will just make Warzone a lot more campy, a lot slower, because people won't want to move around the map. Again, this has happened so many times in, in you know, previous Call of Duty's, like, just multiplayer base from, like, Ghosts and even Vanguard. People are prepared to camp more when the ADS times are slower, when the time to kill is very fast. And this change will only do that. It will only enhance people, you know, you know, in, make people want to do that. People won't want to move about the map. They'll be too scared to move about the map because they die super fast and they won't be able to react as quick as they want to react. So they're just gonna they're just gonna sit in these buildings. They're gonna sit in the corners, and then this change still doesn't make sense because I had a great like uh, comment in the in my uh, community tab when I posted it earlier today. But the shotguns, how does that even work with shotguns? If you increase the ADS time, why does that matter? Most shotguns can kill in hip with hip fire. Like I haven't played Warzone, but I have seen clips of like the dual wield shotguns at the moment. I think they got nerfed, but I don't know. I feel, I'm pretty sure people are still ro roaming around with those because they still haven't been nerfed effectively. I might be wrong on that. Let me know in the comment section if I'm right or wrong on that. But from what I've seen, these dual wield shotguns are going around and you don't aim down sight with dual wield shotguns, you hip fire. So how does that impact the time to kill? Unless they're gonna nerf the damage on shotguns, which, you know, is only gonna do so much. At the end of the day, you're still gonna have hip fire shotguns that are gonna kill you in one shot. And that only greatly increases, you know, the usage of shotguns at the same time in these small buildings that people want to camp in and sit in corners and that. Because people aren't going to be able to ABS in time. So you might have an SMG that kills in three, four shots, possibly. But these people are going to have shotguns that they can hit, fire and shoot you with. So why does decreasing, you know, making the ADS time slower, how is that going to improve the time to kill if someone can just use a one shot shotgun? and hip fire it and kill you. That doesn't that doesn't make any sense to me. Unless they're planning to make shotguns not one shot or not two shot, even a two shot shotgun will still kill you quicker than by the time you, you can ADS probably. But uh, yeah, that plays to the strength of shotguns and obviously shotguns have still got to be relatively useful, but they're just going to be made even stronger by this point. So what people are going to do is gonna they're going to have their long, long range loadout, you know, to be able to get those kills at longer ranges. But the people who don't move, who like to sit in corners of that, I just can use shotguns and sit in the corner because again they know that you know you might slide cancel come in all guns blazing with your mp40 or that but if you lose you know a good fraction of your ads time then what does it matter you know that person is already set up they're ready for you and you can't react even though you may know that person's even there they might not even know you're there but they're probably AD ads at the door that they're looking at and they're just going to kill you easily as that so why they're going with this option, I don't know. I personally think it will absolutely ru ruin Warzone, as if Warzone isn't in a more ruined state as it currently is. And to be honest, it doesn't make me any more, you know, hopeful of playing Warzone, you know. Obviously, I'm hoping they'll improve the FPS, you know, give back the 120 FPS option for Xbox Series X, which I don't know why they took away in the first place. Obviously, there's the field of view discussion that I'm not going to get into, but, you know, we all want that to be brought back. And then now they're planning this as the option to improve the game improve the game's time to kill when in all essence it's just creating a slower more you know more slow paced more campy game style game type or warzone and it only benefits those who i'm going i'm going to be quite blunt with it are the bad players you know there's nothing wrong with being a bad player not everyone can be a great player you know some people just get the game and stuff but it just massively decreases the skill gap instead of doing the better option which is increasing the skill gap to them want players to get better, you know, you'll see those players dominating the map and having a higher skill gap means you, you'll want to get better. You'll want to be like those players who are dropping 40 in that and doing the skillful thing of, you know, being able to run around and shoot your gun and stuff and get, dropping these mad gameplays. Instead, we're going to get slow paced, campy gameplay just from this change alone. And again, they're trying to tell you what how the time to kill should be perceived or that ADS should be factored. Yes, it's a factor. But it's not the same as just doubling the health, you know, again, like I said earlier, people massively enjoyed the uh, Iron Trials playlist, all it did was double the health, and it made it so much better, people were happy with this, they saw the skill gap change, it was, 
a lot faster paced, you know, people were enjoying it, even the casuals were enjoying it. I couldn't understand this, but yeah, that's it for today's video. Uh, just a bit of a discussion on this, kind of a mini rant, not really wanted to rant a bit, of just a really bizarre situation, really. I don't understand where they're going with this, but let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this proposed change by Raven. Do you agree with it? Do you not agree with it? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think Raven are right? I don't know. But let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, subscribe notifications on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.